Hi, welcome to Cold Brick Kitchen. Today we're going to make Greek yogurt. That's plain yogurt's richer, thicker cousin. Start with three cups of milk and spring for the good stuff. It'll make better yogurt. Heat it to 190 degrees. We like to do that for five minutes in the microwave using the Trudeau microwave safe bowl and covering it with the Charles Viensen silicone lid. If you cover it with the lid upside down, there are ridges so that it won't explode. Now, five minutes later and you've got milk that's heated to the proper temperature. You want to cool it to 110 degrees, otherwise it will kill the living culture in the yogurt. To chill it faster, we put it in an ice water bath. Now through the magic of time lapse, we've reached 110 degrees. And we're ready to add our live culture. Just take two teaspoons of a good commercial yogurt or your last batch of homemade yogurt, stir it in, and really that's all you have to do by way of prep. We like to pour the milk back into this chef and measuring beaker because first of all, it's got a lid, which is great and which is good for this process. And secondly, it's got straight sides. So it's much easier to get the yogurt out when it's finished. Now let's set up the yogurt maker. All we need to do is lift the sides and we're ready you can see that it has a nice deep capacity. Now we'll put the lid on, we'll plug it in, turn it on, and wait for approximately 10 hours. But the yogurt maker really does all of the timing and all of the heating itself. And here we are 10 hours later and take a look at the yogurt. The next step is to make Greek yogurt. For that you want to use the yogurt cheese maker which is comprised of a plastic box with a lid and a stainless steel mesh insert so that the whey can drain out of the yogurt. And as you can see, three hours later, you've drained off a considerable amount of whey and you have beautiful, thick, creamy yogurt. But really, the proof is in the serving and the tasting. We're gonna serve one of my favorite breakfasts or desserts, thick, creamy, rich Greek yogurt topped with honey and walnuts. We're very lucky to get some beautiful honey from some friends who keep bees. And you guys know who you are. Thank you again for this delicious honey. And then top it with some walnuts. Just look how lovely this is. And it's delicious too. Thank you for joining us at Colbert Kitchen.